Hi guys and girls on YouTube, just a really quick video here because I'm still actually very busy building circuit boards for a company. Uh, so I'm looking at this Denon and it's a RCD M41 DAB receiver. Uh, now it's, um, it's in protection mode, the red light's flashing on the front and uh, when I put it into the service menu um, it tells me that there's a power supply failure somewhere so I've had a quick look and um, on this board here um, I find that the um, the minus 12 volt rail um, is missing from this connector down here now I've had a look at the service manual and it just comes from a three terminal regulator so that's the um, service manual as you can see you've got the uh, DC in here and then you've got just got a three terminal negative regulator um, so you would assume that if we've got no output there then it's this regulator that's faulty right so i've actually got the regulator out and uh, this is virtually impossible to work on when it's all connected um, because if you look at that there this board here plugs into that one um, and it doesn't work unless it's plugged in but of course when it's plugged in we can't get to the back of the board to make any measurements um, ideally before changing this regulator I would have liked to see the input and output uh, and make sure it is that um, but we're just going to have to change it blindly but um, I've just taken this circuit board out and I've just spotted actually what the problem is and it's not the regulator right so I'll just show you this first um, the negative of the smoothing capacitor goes straight in to the middle pin of that regulator so that's the capacitor in question, that one there, and if we turn it over, uh, that there and that are the pins for that smoothing capacitor. Now what I'm going to do now, um, I've actually, um, I'm going to have to get my phone, because my phone's got a better uh, magnification than cheap microscope, and I'll show you what I've just spotted, which is almost certainly the problem, not the regulator. Right, now I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera, uh, but look what I can see there. Uh, it's the finest of cracks you'll ever see in the... Get the camera back on. Um, there. A very fine crack in the PCB uh, that comes from the diode to the smoothing capacitor. So that is almost certainly what the problem is, um, and it's not the regulator. Yeah, you can see it better now. Right, so let's just sort that out and uh, then we'll try it again. Right, so I've put the regulator back in and uh, as you can see there, um, I've cleaned the uh, lacquer off, ready to uh, patch it up with this very fine piece of wire here. Right, that's it. Um, where we go, you can see the track repair just come on stop going off you can see the track repair just there that's where i bridged it over a little bit of wire and i've cleaned all the circuit board up so it look, doesn't look doesn't look like anything's been done to it now but yeah i'm very confident that's going to cure the problem let's just uh, put it back together and see right so here we go uh, i've not put the back panel on yet it'd be a good idea just to try it first Put the mains in. And yeah, there you go, it's working. Uh, I think the only thing we've got to do now is cancel uh, the error out of the memory, um, which I might have to look in the service manual how to do that because it'll store the error. Uh, I'll just demonstrate that first as well. Right, so press that and that and power up and if you look at the front display it says protection power so it has stored um, that error code so we're going to have to cancel that now right so the service manual says hold down this button to cancel the protection
Right, there we go. That's the error log cleared. So we're, we're all back up and running. All right, guys and girls, many thanks for watching my video. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.